Good morning, guys. Welcome to a workday in my life. Here is a sacrifice of my cat, Vinny. If you're new here, I work for my mom's dermatology office as kind of an office manager slash MA slash receptionist or whatever the business needs. This morning, I'm making matcha the official ceremonial way. So I ordered this little mixer from Amazon and it just makes the whole experience a little bit more fun and exciting. And it also makes it taste better in my opinion. So let's get ready for the day. Of course, I'm wearing my figs and putting on some comfy sneakers and we are out of here. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm getting Starbucks this morning because I'm hungry and I feel like I've been eating such little breakfast breakfasts that at lunch I just like binge and then I feel really sluggish after lunch like around two three o'clock so I'm trying a new strategy where I eat a heavier breakfast and a lighter lunch because I think that'll make me feel better. Today I got bacon egg and gouda sandwich from Starbucks. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna get this every day I'm just saying I need to come up with a way to eat more breakfast maybe like boiled eggs or something mm, this is so good so yeah i started at nine today nine to five and then after work we're finally doing that happy hour that i've been talking about it's for someone's birthday so we're just gonna all go together after work make sure you subscribe let's go to work all right so i get to work and i'm a little bit more tired today than usual because i did have a matcha instead of coffee which i've been trying to do more often so i'm just checking my emails and checking the patient schedule for the day making sure that i know what we have on the agenda making sure i have my priorities right and now i'm editing two tiktoks that we filmed the other day to have them ready to post and now it's 10 17 so i'm going to leave my little private office and see if anybody needs my help this is just a nice little pan of our waiting room I'm obsessed with it the phone rang so I picked it up because the staff was in the back all assisting with various patients and now I'm restocking our Nespresso cabinet and our tea cabinet and unboxing an Amazon package we actually received these plastic wine glasses for the event that we're going to have it's just really convenient to have plastic disposable wine glasses when we're having any type of party or event we're trying to redecorate my mom's office so we ordered this really beautiful desk from West Elm to go in this little nook here it's actually the perfect size and I'm so excited I think it'll bring warmth and life to the office as I think of things throughout the day I write them on this whiteboard because every so often we have team meetings where we go over things that we need to remember or work on and we also recently got these new TVs in each of the patient rooms so I've been working on setting up our YouTube channel and making sure that there's videos playing on each TV every day so that when patients are waiting they can watch educational videos on things that we do at our practice. Now I'm just paying some miscellaneous bills and cleaning up my desk because sometimes I do let the papers pile way too high and it's always just good to put things away and have a fresh start especially on a Friday which is today so that Monday I can have a clear workspace. Now I'm ordering some extra toner for our printer because when we run out of toner it is not fun so I always like to have one in stock. Okay guys I'm also ordering some ant killer because we have <clears throat> A big ant problem in the kitchen the employee kitchen anytime we have like food out immediately the ants come and like crawl over all over the food so i'm buying the liquid ant bait traps and then the spray and hopefully that solves the ant problem also our party was rescheduled from today's friday so it was supposed to be yesterday but we re rescheduled it for next thursday because of some logistical issues in case anyone's waiting for that content that'll be next week it actually gave us more time to like get the wine glasses and get some more stuff that wouldn't have come in time and then also like our drug reps some of them weren't going to be able to make it so that's why we did that but it is 11 o'clock i have to take an early lunch today because we have a zoom call with our biller at 12 30 so i'm probably going to go at 11 30 and get food for me and my mom get gas and get some stuff done hi can i have two chicken caesar salads i am at poya tropical no tropi chop today though because i am testing out my theory of eating a heavier breakfast lighter lunch carbs in the morning and carbs at night are fine but if i have too many carbs 
at lunchtime. Like I said, I just crash and burn. So we're gonna test out the salad, even though it does have croutons on it. I'm probably gonna be hungry, but I do have snacks at work if I get hungry in the afternoon, so that's fine. And yeah, this is basically a what I eat in a day as well. Also, it's good if you get to Pollo before 12 o'clock because if you wait until 12 or 12.30, you're gonna be in line for way too long. So I'm glad that I got here at 11.38. Also, something that I've noticed about working in the medical field, switching from like office work to a medical industry is that I'm listening to way less podcasts and media and music than I was working an office job because in medical you have patient interaction you have phone calls you have more human to human connection so naturally it's very inconvenient to keep taking out your airpods it's just not worth it because I just get interrupted so much, which is good. I like it, but I have noticed that I like can't keep up with all my podcasts because I just don't have the time and I also don't have a long commute to work. So it's not like I can get in a 30 minute podcast session on my drive to work. Yeah, although I will say I definitely prefer having the human connection at work because it just makes the time go by way faster if you find yourself in an office job and you dread it and you like get bored really easily and you just like look at the clock every 30 seconds consider switching to a job maybe even the same field just a different job where you have more human to human connection even as an introvert i value it a lot because it just it helps you get your words out for the day and it also makes Makes the time go by so quick. So that's my little career life advice. Green light. So this afternoon we had a sculpture session, which is one of my favorite things to assist with because it's just so interesting. And then I made myself an afternoon decaf coffee. I promise you it is decaf. I just really like the taste of coffee and it's a very good mood booster for me. All right guys, very busy afternoon, running around, helping with patients. So unfortunately I wasn't able to film much, but I was just in the patient rooms, didn't really have much desk work for the afternoon. So it is 4.45, gonna go home and then get ready for happy hour. Okay, I'm filling up because I didn't fill up at work and there's a line and I'm wondering if there's a hurricane coming that I don't know about because whenever there's a storm coming here in Florida, like everybody's lining up for the gas station and gas is 319 here, but I've been using this new app. I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. It's called Upside and I am working with them in today's video and it is the best way to save money on gas, you guys, with inflation and all the storms if you live in an area with storms like me. Gas is just so expensive. For example, what? Oh my goodness. You guys, I'm at this Chevron. Gas is $3.19, but on my Upside app, I can get 31 cents a gallon back. All I have to do is come here, click claim the offer, get my gas, pay with a credit card or debit card. Sometimes they'll ask you to upload your receipt and then boom, 31 cents back a gallon. Like, are you kidding me? That is insane. So Upside is completely free in the App Store or Google Play and you can use my promo code RACHELVIN to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Then you can claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Just check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, and get paid. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. And I don't have to feel bad about having that breakfast sandwich from Starbucks that I had this morning because I'm saving money on Upside, okay? 31 cents a gallon is honestly blew me away when I saw that on the app. I immediately chose that gas station because you can see everything in your radius and it also has rest restaurants so i saw an offer for six percent at firehouse subs and i will be going there immediately such an easy way to save money you guys it's free highly recommend i'm obsessed with it so make sure to download the free upside app and use my code rachel vin to get five dollars or more cash back on your first purchase of ten dollars or more okay i think i'm gonna wear this little blouse actually that's kind of lame that's so lame i need more cute clothes actually i'm gonna wear these white jeans with these platform sandals is that cute i don't know yeah that's kind of cute i could do a little tie that's cute right guys is it too country we're going to this place called Tap 42 in Aventura. It's like an upscale American place. And I'm excited. They have really good food. You know, guys, ever since using this Elastin tinted sunscreen, it's much less oily than the La Roche-Posay one that I was using. So I've noticed that I don't have to like pat my face to absorb oil. I don't know if I'm the only one who does that, but I do it like all the time. But since switching to this one, I'd never have to do it. So 
Highly recommend. I'm just gonna do a little bit of powder. Ah! And I'm gonna do my Maybelline. This is like a lip stain. It looks much more neon on camera, like in person. It's much more subtle, I swear. Then on top, I'm doing this Dior Lip Maximizer Gloss. Just for a little bit of shine. And that's it. Claw clip is staying in because my hair is kind of greasy. Ignore all of those boxes. We have so many home updates that I'm going to show you later. But yeah, here's the look. I will link this outfit down below. I don't know how I feel about the shoes. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. All right, I'm waiting for my mom to pick me up because we're going to like some place down yonder. We got some books of package. We got a package. I ordered sponges and it came broken. And I also, oh great, did it spill? Look at this green slime on my detergent. I ordered some more detergent and I decided to go with the all free and clear this time because fragrance is like apparently toxic. So I'm going fragrance free. That's it, not a very exciting package, but in case you're new here, this is where I keep my sponges. How cute is that? And it's also very easy to see when we run out. And then we have two cleaning sponges that we use for like the showers and stuff. Oh, by the way, this thing is the freaking cutest. At first, I didn't understand the need for this, but it just makes life so much more cute because look, you put it in and then it scoops it up. Oh, oh. Never mind. Just to be able to pick it up. Okay, screw this. You don't need the base. Okay, let's be honest. You don't need the base. You can just set this on the counter when you're done. But it is a cute little thing for your matcha. It was actually quite good. We literally got every single appetizer on the menu, which was nine appetizers So I brought a bunch of it home for AJ to enjoy Oh, that's all you had got? Just appetizers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I so yeah. you guys got nine appetizers plus entrees. Oh, heck no. That's what I was confused. Heck no. I'm so full. I almost threw up on the car drive home. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I wanted to show you guys all of the home updates that I've made recently, and I figured it would be a fun addition to this vlog. So if you've been watching, you know I've been very anti-bright, cool toned lights. A great example is the clip that you saw last night of me coming home talking to AJ after dinner. As you can see, the overhead lights are just super harsh, unflattering, not cozy at all, and it's just completely not the vibe. So what I've done is I purchased two additional lights. I'm so excited to show you this, the dining room light. I picked up this light from All Modern. It was $190 or so, and it's totally a West Elm dupe. And I installed a LED 2700 Kelvin shade or like tone of light, and I think it's so perfect. It's so cozy at nighttime to just have a warm light. I love how minimal and clean it is. I got it in all white, but they also have all black. I'll definitely link it down below. It was the most affordable but aesthetic light fixture that I could personally find and I loved the West Elm ones and the CB2 ones but they were just out of my price point. I look at it, I've, we installed it a couple days ago and I cannot stop looking at it. I'm so happy with this purchase. It just totally brings the dining room to life and it's finally a warm and welcoming place where we can sit and have dinner. For now, I just put this thrifted tiny little painting here. This is not gonna be permanent but I just wanted to see like what it looks like with some kind of artwork over there. 
All right, so we have that over there. And the second piece of lighting that I added for nighttime cozy vibes is this lamp. So let me show you this angle. This is from CB2 as well. And it's this golden base. It's a very sophisticated gold color. And it has three light heads that are each individually able to be turned off. So that's what it looks like. And this is like an ivory. It's not a pure white, it's like an ivory, which I love. And you can move these and angle them differently. So that's what it looks like in the corner. We are still waiting on the plant. I'm getting a new, I got a new Birds of Paradise plant from West Elm. Here, you can kind of see it better when I turn the lights on. So I just wanted something to be able to turn on at nighttime. This honestly is enough light to be able to watch TV with a good lighting. And then I just wanted to top it off with this light in case we wanted more light or wanted to read something. So yeah, I'll insert a clip of the nighttime vibe with all of the lights turned on, including the under cabinet lights, which I will have linked below as well. Those were from Amazon, super cheap, and they just totally complete the vibe. So I'm so happy with all of the lighting. So during the day, we have our cool tone lights, these uh, recessed lights lighting in the ceiling which is perfect during the day vlogging getting work done i don't mind it but at nighttime the harsh overhead lighting just is not the vibe so and then i literally just got this package in my second package from cb2 we went on a little splurge i just feel so much more at home i it totally changes the vibe for nighttime even aj was like wow i didn't realize the impact that lighting can have on the coziness and the vibe of a home so i highly recommend even if it's just buying a lamp from amazon that you can turn on at nighttime it it just makes me so happy oh, christmas ornaments oh i'm so excited wow this is stunning okay so i picked up these two black and white and gold ornaments i also picked up this black unscented candle for the holidays i'll show you the base I am very sensitive to smells, so I don't love lighting scented candles, but I love having candles. I also got this set of ornaments. It's like these colored, oh, they're so cute. Do you guys see what I'm going for? I'm going for like eclectic, but super sleek. Look at this stunning Christmas ornament. I love the colors. All right, I got this little gold bronze candle holder for the candle. How cute is that, babe? How cute. It's so cute. This is a cement tray. Technically, it's a letter tray. You're supposed to put like your mail or paperwork on here. And it's like this off-white creamy color. I got this for, guess what? The coffee table. Come along. So currently, we just have, we just have books on there. I'm obsessed. It still fit this entire book, although I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm not saying that this is going to be the official setup. I'm thinking for Christmas, this will go like over here. How stinking cute is that? And the Christmas tree is going to be over here. And then this, I keep my Bible here because I read every morning. So we could do something like that. I'm not sure. I'll play around with this. But the point is that this tray is stunning. And it's not too heavy because this is a very light plastic table. And I was worried that it would be too heavy, but it's not. So yeah, those are my home updates. It totally just made my week so much better to finally invest in like the vibe of our home. Yeah, we have like cool furniture and stuff, but the lighting and the little objects just really take it home. So everything will be linked below. I hope you guys enjoy this video and this work day. Let me know what videos you wanna see from me. Don't forget to check out Upside and Save Money. App is completely free and you guys will save so much money. Yeah, with that being said, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.